stories in German, in, sorry, in English, that uh, that were told to me by Ben Riley. Uh, both Wayne and I uh, had the fortune of working in Ben Riley's Monk Legacy Septet. And uh, yeah, seven pieces. No, no piano playing the music of Thelonious Monk. But Ben had the privilege of recording with Thelonious Monk a number of times. And the first time, he was called the night before, can you come down to Columbia Studios and record with Monk? And he thought that was a joke. He didn't think it was real, but it was. He got there. And then Monk started, I guess it was the first song, uh, started playing a, a song. Uh, ben was listening. There was no music. And uh, it ended up being this song we're about to play called Ugly Beauty. And uh, there was no music. So Ben heard him playing the song and thought it was in a three, four time signature, like a waltz, right? Um, anyway, it wasn't, but it was recorded that way. And ever since then, it has been the only tune that Thelonious ever wrote in a three, four time signature. <laughs> Just because of the way Ben was hearing it. Uh, so I think that's a, that's a testament to the creative and uh, collaborative art of jazz. Now, this uh, next story is about the first chord, which could be called, uh, which might be the reason for the name Ugly Beauty, because it's a beautiful, ugly chord, or an ugly, beautiful chord. I'm going to play it four ti three times for you. And hope you enjoy this beautiful, ugly chord, ugly beauty chord. <laughs> and uh, that's uh, and, and oh, sorry. One last thing is we're it was recorded as a three-four tune. Today we're going to times that by three. Play it in nine-eight for all the musicians out there. <laughs>
you all know that good by pork by hat um, most of these uh, songs except for the biggest ones are on my new CD that's outside my new old CD with ugly beauty and the opposites <laughs> it's new old because uh, it came out this year but was recorded 12 years ago you can look at me on the on the cover it's like a scrapbook it looks like I'm a teenager quite wasn't a teenager, but I can pretend I was a teenager at the time. Uh, and it's called Monk Restrung. Uh, two thirds of this is guitar, bass, and drums. And then uh, one third uh, are duets uh, with me and Peter Bernstein, me and Howard Alden, and uh, the great Brazilian drummer, sorry, guitarist named Homero Lubambo. So uh, pick that up if you, if you feel like it. And on this CD are, what, 12 monk tunes and two originals. This one is called Ningamariv. Uh, yes, you've heard of Rhythm and Ning. This is slightly backwards, but uh, if that confuses you, just call it Ning for short.
Thank you.